All right, good morning and welcome to this hearing on the Committee on Governmental Operations. Today we'll be holding a second hearing and vote for proposed intro number 241B introduced by the Public Advocate and Manhattan Borough President in relation to establishing a charter revision commission to draft a new or revised city charter. I want to welcome our uh, committee members, Rodriguez, Councilmember Rodriguez, Councilmember Mycel, Councilmember Powell, Councilmember Yeager. Almost 30 years ago, a charter commission proposed and voters approved a new charter which created our current government structure. There have been several charter commissions called since then. However, all of them were mayoral commissions often called for political reasons, and all of them focus on only a narrow set of issues predetermined by the mayor. Today, with this bill, we are seeking to do something new. We are seeking to create an inclusive commission represent, representative of, of the city and all, and all of its elected officials. We are seeking to create a commission that will examine the entire charter. We are seeking to create a commission that will have the time to truly engage with the public and give thoughtful consideration to the needs of the entire city. And our first hearing on this bill, the committee heard some excellent testimony from the public, and we thank everyone who testified. The bill has not been amended to incorporate many of those ideas. These amendments include an explicit statement that the commission will be subject to the New York State Freedom of, of Information Law, a requirement to maintain a website with agendas and hearing transcripts and greater clarity for the appointment process. I believe this bill is truly a model for how an inclusive and independent charter commission should be created. Every city elected official will be offered appointments to the commission and no one elected ofi official will control a majority of those appointments. It will create a fair and thoughtful process that would lead to a fair and thoughtful result. I will ask the committee to join me in supporting this bill. Before we vote, I would like to thank the public advocate, Letitia James, and the Manhattan Borough President, Gail Brewer, for proposing this legislation. I would like, uh, I want to thank the members of this committee for their dedication and careful consideration of the testimony. And I would also like to thank the council staff who worked so hard on this bill and this hearing. Robert Newman, Debbie Sizer, uh, Kelly Taylor, Brad Reed, Elizabeth Cronk, and, and Zachary Harris. Finally, I would want to thank the many advocates who testified before us previously. Please continue your work. I know that the Charter Commission will benefit from your good advice and expertise, and I will now ask the clerk to, uh, to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, Committee on Governmental Operations, introduction 241-B, Chair Cabrera. I vote aye and encourage all members to vote aye. Kalos. Aye. Maizello. Yes. Rodriguez. Aye. Powers. Aye. Yeager. Mr. Chairman, may I be excused to explain my vote? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, and I'll be as brief as possible given the clock, and I know that my colleagues have hearings across the street. Um, and I just want to address a few things as I did at the hearing on this bill a number of weeks ago. Um, but first, uh, you know, I, I, I would like to address the notion of a representative commission. Um, this commission is representative of those who are making appointments to the commission, but it's not representative of every elected official in this city. There are 51 members of this council. One member of this council gets an appointment on this commission. Fifty do not. That's a fact. That's not something I'm making up. It's just the reality. Council member Maisel doesn't. I don't. Mr. Chairman doesn't. Chairman Rodriguez doesn't. Chairman Kalos doesn't. That's a fact. There, there's a notion, and we heard this a lot during the hearing, that the charter hasn't been fully reviewed since its 1989 adoption. And that's true. It hasn't been a full review from the top of the charter to the bottom of the charter by a commission uh, dedicated to reviewing the charter from the top to the bottom. But I don't know where in the charter it's written that there's an obligation for us to engage in a full review from the top to the bottom of the charter. This council, as a legislative body, has the right to amend the charter. Uh, it does it all the time, and there's nothing wrong with it. In fact, that's why we were sent here. That's why 11,000 people voted for me. 
Um, many thousands of people voted for my colleagues. They sent me here to write laws. And that's what I hope to be able to accomplish. It uh, doesn't look likely under this council I will, but uh, someday perhaps. Uh, but surely I get a chance to opine on laws, and that's what I'm doing today. Um, in this council, today is the 100th day since we took office. Um, it, we've been in session for approximately 98 days. Uh, no fewer than 83 measures have been introduced in this council in the last less than 100 days, 83 measures currently introduced in this council to amend the city charter, 83, by 30 different members of this council, including uh, the President Pro Tem, Madam Public Advocate, and Mr. Speaker. 30 members of this council have made introductions to amend our charter. That says to me that we have the right to do that. It says to me that we can do that. It says to me that we don't have to outsource our work, as I indicated at the hearing, which is what we'd be doing. We'd be taking the work that we're assigned to do, the work that we promised our communities we're going to go and do, which is write laws in the city, and we're going to outsource it to a group of players to be named later. I don't know a single member of this commission. None have been named. In the last month, and I indicated this at the hearing, I don't know who these people are, uh, not a single member, uh, not a single appointing authority has indicated a single name of a single person who they propose to place on this commission. Um, uh, the, the outsourcing of my work is, is bothersome, and the outsourcing of my colleagues' work is bothersome, um, made more bothersome by the notion that, and this was my mistake, I learned this morning that I, I was mistaken in the uh, idea that we were going to be spending $1.7 million on this charter commission. I now learned that we're going to be spending the grand sum of $2.3 million to outsource the work that we get paid mighty heftily to do, uh, to hire a group of, I'm sure, very dedicated people, um, but I'm also sure that they are not council members. The uh, funds that we're spending are 600, I'm sorry, are uh, $1.2 million greater than the amount allocated in the council's budget for our own legislative drafting team. For the ones that we pay to write our bills, when we come up, when, when Council Member Kalos, who is the uh, author of, of many, many bills, comes up with an idea, sends it off to the team of folks to write it, and waits six or eight or 12 weeks until they answer him back, we pay them $1.2 million less than what we are proposing to spend on this Charter Commission. So we, I, I spoke a little bit about the, the representation, and I just want to speak about what that means. To me, I represent a piece of the great borough of Brooklyn. It's a place I love. We have 2.64 million people in Brooklyn. Staten Island has 479,000 people. It's a beautiful borough. They're going to get the same vote on this council, on this Charter Commission, the same vote. Brooklyn, Staten Island. And that's what this commission's about. It's not representative. It's not democracy. It's a group of people, don't know who they are, I'm sure they're very fine people, but they don't represent the people of this city. 51 of us do. Now, one of us will have a chance to rewrite the charter, uh, he'll have a chance to place measures on the ballot, unfettered access to our ballot to put on whatever they want, smart ideas, bad ideas, good ideas, maybe. 50 of us will not have a chance to do that. So I'm voting though, Mr. Chairman, and I appreciate the indulgence of the time uh, I see I haven't run out of the clock. I think I still have, uh, is, that, is that 200 minutes left? Um, but with that, I, uh, is that what it is? 706 minutes left? Uh, with that, I most respectfully vote no. I will not uh, urge my colleagues to vote no, as you've already expressed your opinions. It's one of the things I learned, uh, is that when your name starts with why, uh, you get to speak last, but everybody else has already made up their minds. And with that, I vote no. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have order five in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions. Item has been adopted by the committee. So we will leave, uh, we'll leave it open for the next 20 minutes, 20 minutes. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day.